Hello artist, today we're going to paint your Todd Parr inspired self portrait. And remember a self portrait is a picture of you. Only ours is in Todd Parr's style. We have our messy mess again, we have watercolors, and we have water. Remember water is what makes watercolors work. Now when we're painting this portrait, we're not painting it to look realistic necessarily, okay? So if you want it to have your real hair color, you can. Otherwise, you can make it whatever color you want, okay? If you want it to have your real face color, you could. But if you wanted to make your face a totally different color, you can. So I going to make, I think I'm going to make my face blue. Why? Because blue is my favorite color. So I put a couple drops of water in the color I needed. I stirred gently and we paint. And remember your brush is a ballerina that likes to dance on its toes. Your paint should always look nice and smooth. Should never look scratchy. And smashing the brush does not make more paint come out. When we need more paint, I'm going to dip it in the water and give it a little stir again, and then paint some more. If you end up with big puddles and they bother you, clean your brush, pinch your brush dry, and we can mop up those puddles. When you're ready to change colors, grab a dub dub on the bottom of the cup, give it a gentle swipe, or don't swipe at all because you need drops of water for your watercolor. Stir gently and paint. Once your portrait is all dry, you're going to get a piece of colored construction paper, whatever color you would like. Please write your name on it and flip it over. And you are going to do your very best cutting on your person. We want to keep the black lines. We don't want those black lines to disappear. Doing my very best cutting. If you get to parts that are hard, like here, I can always cut past the ends and then go back and cut out those little pieces. Now I will have pans on your table for all of the trash. If you accidentally cut something off that was supposed to be left behind, we can fix that. We can't forget to cut out your item that has something to do with you. And when it's time to glue, this is really large. We're not covering the whole thing with glue. We're going to take your glue stick and trace it a couple times. And then find a good place to put your head. Maybe you want to change directions this time. I want to make sure I have room for my item. Lay it down, press or massage. And glue the item that has to do with you. So there's my trusty paintbrush.